You're watching Propagator. Very good. Hello. I have metal in my head. It helps me think. I'm Kenneth Chetwick. I can see what you're doing. Lonely. Enter the day tricks. Yo, I'm Spike. I'm into death metal, butter sculpting, and bath salts. I'm looking for a hard living vegan albino who's into Christian scuba diving and burlesque taxidermy. Oh, no freaks. All my friends, they call me like Queen Nutella because I love Nutella. I'm also like a party animal, but like vegan albino too. And I'm like really into like Christian scuba diving, but mostly I love like burlesque taxidermy. I'm totally looking for like a real metalhead, but like a butter sculptor who just wants to like live dangerously, you know? Oh, and no dudes. The queen doesn't roll that way. Sorry. This moral decay weakens our resistance to the onslaught of the communist masters of deceit. And you've got to realize how Marxism, how socialism works. The small group ran the government for their ends and for the ends of their friends. And that's what the gays want. When you hear all these things about homosexual marriage, this has nothing to do with homosexual rights. Did you know that? They could care less about homosexuals. They want to destroy the family. And that's what the gays want. They don't want freedom. They don't want people to express their views. They want a dictatorship where they control, which of course is what you had in communism. Then they're going to say, God made me this way, and you have to accept me. The Russians have it right. Fred Haggard here again. All right, have a seat there, uh, Ted. I just want to, um... It's, it's Fred. Hi, I'm baby Jessica. And today, I'm with a very special guest. He is the Propagator account executive in charge of one of our biggest advertising clients, the National Association of Evangelicals. I am very happy to introduce Ted Haggard. <laughs> Actually, that's a very common mistake. Oh, I, I am not happy to introduce Ted Haggard. Sorry. Sometimes things are a little fuzzy since I got the implants. <laughs> I never know what I'm going to think. Oh. Wow. No, it's Fred, not Ted. Fred Haggard. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm here to introduce to you possibly the greatest invention of all time. Mm -hmm. And Jessica, I brought a film today that explains everything. In the book of Exodus, Lord Jesus warned us that alternative lifestyles are a slippery slope to communism. Well, that's because homosexuality is not just about enjoying homosexual sex. It, in fact, has nothing to do with sex. It's really a mental illness known to repair to therapists as same-sex ambivalence, which is a result of the defensive detachment you feel towards the same-sex parent who thinks you're a sissy, and a very legitimate need to be loved by that same-sex parent who thinks you're a sissy. But Zen Plus completely eliminates same-sex ambivalence by dissolving defensive detachment and fulfilling your same-sex parental sexual needs non-sexually through electrical stimulation of the part of your brain that prays for and receives God's forgiveness for acting like such a sissy in the first place. So you see, Jessica, the Zen Plus doesn't just change your mood, it saves your soul. Wow, sounds too good to be true. Now, I know that some of our viewers may be feeling a little homo-skeptical that the Zen Plus is so effective. That's why we have with us today a satisfied Zen Plus user a man that used to be elbow deep in homosexuality. He was so deep in the closet that he feared for his career if anyone discovered his secret. But he deserves congratulations because after using the Zen Plus, he is absolutely cured. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> Are you talking about me? <laughs> Let's give a warm welcome to Ted Haggard. It's Fred. 